Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome back to my Russian review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. So today is the breakfast portion of our Russian Take 2022. Day 4, or menu 4, this is the vegetarian one, 3200 kcals. They had other menus, but the only ones I could get from them was the 3200 kcal menus. Which frankly is a shame. We're going to do our chocolate chip cookies. We're going to do the orange uh, acetonic drink. This makes 500 ml, but I found that you can get away with adding a bit of mo bit more water since it's quite um, strong for me anyway. But being strong is a good thing since it will mask the taste of your water purification tablets. Or if you've got water tasting funny sort of high mineral content water which actually in South Africa we have in a large part of the country. This is our lactose free drink and it's strawberry. I found the name on it. Our banana sorghum porridge which frankly does taste better than the banana normal porridge. But because this is banana flavor and I really don't like banana flavor in goes the four creamers they provide you. Ration take. Not strong coffee, although the, the, the taste of the coffee has got a nice nutty taste. But it's not really strong, so you do need both of these. And then don't use a full cup of water. And we've got our spork. So, to the, as I said, you can go from 500 maybe to 750 water in this. Cup of water for this. cup of hot water for this. This you mix very vigorously and you will get lumps. Doesn't matter what you do, you will get lumps in this. You can use a fork or for the matter use a fork but you will get lumps. So I'll go and mix everything and we'll be back. And just again our coffee takes a bit less than the cup but you can add both of the sachets in anyway so but still don't use it too much water. This takes half a litre of water, I've checked. Um, it mixes easier than some of the other brands. This they also takes half a litre of water, the orange. But you can actually get away with 750 just under that, which I've also done. I've did it because I'm not really a fan of that strong. If it's 500 ml, it's really too strong for me. But you can even go so far as a liter if you just want a taste of orange in your water. Which means that you, because you can add extra water to this and this is 500 moles, it means you don't really miss the water that the combination of your coffee satchels will take to use. Good thing about this, if you're not a fan of coffee, you can use the one at a time and the coffee taste is not as offensive to you. I've added all of the creamers to our porridge here. It takes a bit longer, I think, sometimes to get rehydrated than the maize does. Although this is not the same brand, I think, that's used in the, uh, what the rations we had, the, the, the other ones, the Emory International ones. The, cool, the, the two cool drinks definitely are not, and the coffee as well. And then we got our cookies. So we will start with our orange. Our orange isotonic drink. Smells orangey. Now this tastes artificially orange. But what I like about this drink is I think they might have added extra citric acid because uh, it's really nice. It's got that citrusy, acidy, sort of a uh, astringent taste. Which is good because it helps to quench your thirst. It sort of disguises all of the sugar, most likely that's in here. And I know South African drinks has got some sugar added in them. But the taste, it turns out, not a bad taste. Although really artificial, but it's not... It's almost like a drinkable Super C. The same if you've ever had Super Cs, the lucky ones of you who might have. It's got that same taste. Which is nice. 
Now we'll move on to our uh, lactose free drink. Our porridge will take a bit to rehydrate because, this, as I said, sorghum does take a bit longer, I think, than the maize does. It also, I think, didn't clump that much, but we will look at it later. Half a liter of water here. You can add uh, extra creamer here. I popped all four in the porridge because I just want to get rid of that banana taste. This doesn't need the creamer, however. It's not as thick as the other drink they, they used to have and the one we had in the ration, ration uh, Imari International rations. It's sweet though, very much strawberry and not as maize fla <coughs> flavored. Much more watery or, or feeling, so it's much more sort of a strawberry milk type idea than it is a strawberry milk shake type idea. Now this, I said, it is a lot of fluid here, but this, of course, you can have uh, in between breakfast and lunch. This is just an extra one. You can have a little extra fluid for breakfast. You can wake up with your coffee. And both of these, very nice if you put both coffees in. It's a nutty coffee taste. It's not as um, bitter as some of the other coffees. It's a real nice coffee, although one sachet just doesn't do it for me. Now let's get to our sorghum. We'll finish off with our cookies. Just move that out of the way a bit. Um, not, although there is still little lumps, it's not as lumpy to me as the maize porridge was that we got. In. I did mix this vigorously with a fork. I used a cup of hot water. I think some of the white flakes in there might be some of the creamer, but let's taste. So sorghum does have its own taste. It's not a maize. It's, um, it's a grain. It's indigenous to Africa. I'm not sure how far it goes around or which parts exactly, but I know I think it's southern Africa since we people here eat it. It is, I think, fam very familiar to wheat. Well, I think it looks similar, I'm not sure, I've never seen the plant. But the Afrikaans name does have wheat in it. Sort of, it's some other uh, quirin, which is wheat in Afrikaans. But it's not a bad taste, it doesn't. It does have a grainy taste, but not a maize taste, which I like. This, when you have the banana flavoring, you do taste the banana flavoring, and it's got a very weird aftertaste. That is why I dumped all of the creamer in here. It takes away the banana taste. You can still taste the sorghum taste, but you don't have that weird aftertaste that comes along with it. Which is a good thing. There is still a faint banana is but it's not as overwhelmingly weird. Now we've got our chocolate chip cookie and you can see there is chocolate chips in there. It's not overwhelmed with chocolate chips. Which in one sense is a good thing since if they melt they don't sort of just break the cookie apart. But these can melt. So let's taste. And this is not one of those sneaky cookies I think that um, has got... Um, Wheat, whole wheat flour in it. Slightly um, shortbread flavour. Uh, you do get a bit of a salty taste, but it's not bad. I think it's more the buttery taste, maybe. Or to mimic the butter. Well, so it's very got a buttery taste. I think that's what the saltiness is, what I taste. Very much shortbread. Maybe more buttery shortbread. It is, of course, a lot of sugar in here. Got the chocolate chips coming through. Quite nice. Hmm. Not bad. So what did I think about it? Cookie was nice. Coffee is nice. Just add both and not as much water. The uh, lactose-free drink. Nice and uh, more milk than milkshake. Sorghum. I would have liked to have the plain sorghum, the banana is not, I don't like the banana. If you dump the creamers in here, it's fine. 
So this was the end of our review, the breakfast portion of the ration tech 3200k cow ration, their menu number 4, back in 2022. So thanks for watching. Please support the channel, please subscribe, please go and donate on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review.